on YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys demos of my 415s on two 8Ks. Nothing has changed, same old Tahoe. The last thing I upgraded was the lower lip. So the new people that are watching this video and the people that have been following me, I'm gonna give you guys a little run through of what's in my um, Tahoe. So under my hood, I got a 400 amp alternator from Mechman. And I got a D3400 from Axis Power. Also, I have Sky High Car Audio 2 watt OFC power wire, and as well as a SMD fuse holder right there with some 400 amp fuses. I have two runs of 2 watt to my front battery right here from the alt to the battery. I also got my two grounds right here at this grounding point going to the body right there and the other one going straight to the battery also have two frame three frame grounds i mean right there going to the front battery and from my front battery going to my rear batteries i have four runs of two out wire as you can see it goes through there through those fuses up under the tahoe and as you can see i have my three grounds for my rear batteries on the frame and here are my four runs goes through fuses and to my rear battery bank for my rear batteries i got two d7500s i'm waiting on my third one gonna sit over there made a little box for it and all of this i done on my own from the wiring from start to finish all i got made at a shop was these two boxes right here also even did my little amp rack right there so these are my VXF 15s right here, dual four ohms, wire to one ohm per amp. And this is the box I got made at Pirate Customs, all one inch Baltic Birch, double baffle. Really love how it turned out. As you can see that right there, it's not like my old box where it had overlapping and shit, but I'm really happy with my box. It's not really an SPL box, it's more like an SQ, but it does have some pressure. It does move air inside. And yeah, man, I'm gonna give you guys demos in a little bit. In my two sub amps, I got two base 8Ks from Taramps, wire to one ohm. I got dual zero gauge inputs right there. Now for my mids, I got four PRV 10MR 2000s NDYs as well as two D4400 PHNDs with two TW700TIs tweeters. And what's powering my 410s is a SQ6000 from PRV, two ohms right there, 6,000 watts going to my 410s. And also got this little PRV Q1200.4, two ohms. My tweeters and my horns are bridged they each got their own channel and i know it looks kind of funny but um this is what i have for now i'm waiting to get my doors done um i didn't know where to put this box at and i needed my four tents and my horns and tweeters clean so i'm gonna just leave it right there for now for my front doors i want to be able to put my four tents my two horns and my two tweeters on a full door right here and then on the other side as well and hopefully i can fit all this in one door I'm gonna probably get it fiberglassed. But yeah, man, that's my next move. I wanna be able to get my doors done. And then for my rear doors, I wanna be able to cover this whole door up full of tens and horns and tweeters. And But that's gonna be later on once I get my 815s. Also got four DS18 Pro EXL 84s on a FRX 2K. And everything's tuned by my DSP 2.8X from PRV Audio. Also got my down for sound bass knob with the voltmeter right there. And this is what controls my two amps right here, which is pretty nice. I also got sound deadener everywhere on the floor, even including the back. I got double on the top. As you can see, it's pretty solid. And it's also double back here.
guys want to see videos of me taking out this box, putting it aside, um, just playing pure vocals and mids while the bass is at it as well, let me know down in the comments. It's really loud and clear. Uh, we'll do a distance test as well. But yeah, man, hopefully you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Peace.